Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire. This is a short introduction to HT Commander. It's a program that's completely open source. It's available on GitHub and it will pair with one of these ham radio, uh, two meter and 70 centimeter uh, radios and allow you to do a whole bunch of data and audio th things with it. So let's take a look very quickly. Uh, it works with the UV Pro, the VR N76 and similar models. You basically pair your computer to your radio, works with Windows 10, Windows 11, and then what can you do? Channel programming, you can receive and send um, audio using your computer audio equipment, APRS, packet capture, WinLink, file transfers, BBS, text-to-speech, and speech-to-text. So let's just really quickly dive into this. So first of all, usually it's disconnected. You click the connect button, it will automatically find the radio on your computer and it will, um, it will connect to it. If you have multiple radios, it will handle that also. And so here I have my own radio right there. And then what you'll see is that it's in real time. I can click on a channel and you'll see that the radio responds uh, quickly to what I'm doing. You can double click on a channel. Uh, I'm sorry, right click on a channel and say edit and you can edit the channel like this. You can import and export your channels very easily. You can change modes like dual watch. You can start scanning from, from here and you can see the, the, the screen um, work immediately. Now, the big features, you can click on to uh, the radio itself and you have this audio panel. This allows you to control the volume on the radio itself, the squelch, the output, where it's going, the input, what microphone you're going to use to uh, transmit on the radio. You click on this icon here, the uh, speaker icon to set up the, ch the audio channel between your computer and um, and the uh, radio. Otherwise, I have an icon for recording and I have one for transmit below. And you can also see this cool graph of uh, your input and your output audio so you can have a visual idea of what your sound looks like. For all these panels here on the right, there's a bunch of them here. You don't have to show them all, but I'm just going to quickly go through all of them. There's APRS, where you can send and receive messages. You can get a green check mark if you get a confirmation from another station that you got your uh, message. You get the map here. This is OpenStreetMaps. Um, but obviously, if you're offline, this uh, feature will not work. Then you have text to speech and speech to text. You enable this and it will uh, listen to the traffic. It uses the LM uh, or the AI model called Whisper to take the audio and transcribe it to text. And you can also type here and hit speak and it will send the text um, to uh, on the frequency to uh, uh, to the radio. Now, mail, you have WinLink support built in here. I can right click, uh, I can take a look at uh, my emails. I have an outbox. I can click and type in, uh, type a new email right there. And then once I'm done, I can click connect, sync with a, a uh, WinLink gateway. And the nice thing is if you program multiple WinLink gateways in the address book, then the nice thing is when you click connect, it will switch to that frequency, sync, and then switch back once it's done. So it, it's really nice. You don't have to fuss with audio cables. You don't have to fuss with the frequency or so on. It will just do it for you. It will um, uh, you know, take care of syncing up the email and come back uh, immediately when it's done. Terminal here, this is a standard terminal. You can connect uh, to BBSs. There's different protocols that are supported. You can also wait for connection. So this, can, this terminal can be connected directly to another terminal. So you can chat one-on-one um, uh, -on -one with somebody else directly. The address book, this is where you store your WinLink terminals, your BBSs, your APRs uh, destinations. You would put that all here. The BBS, this is a built-in BBS. There's a text adventure game and so on th that is in here. What you do is you just select a channel you want. For example, I'm gonna do my test 
channel, you click activate. And at that point, I now have a BBS available for stations nearby to connect and, um, and use. And this BBS also supports WinLink receiving and sending. So if you're doing peer-to-peer, that will uh, be supported peer-to-peer -peer email uh, transfers that will be supported here. We have a built-in BitTorrent kind of equivalent uh, file transfer system. So you go to uh, a channel, you click activate, and then you'll see here my radio is now in torrent mode on this channel. And so other uh, people can see what files I'm advertising and they can request it. And because radios are inherently multicast, the um, anybody else can get those those packets, those blocks, and uh, or act as a relay for those blocks to uh, to uh, other stations. And then lastly, we have a packet capture panel here. All the packets that you're sending, you're receiving, no matter what channel they're being sent or received on, you'll see a full capture here. You'll see the time, what channel uh, the packet has been sent or received, and you'll get a full decode. This is great for seeing what's going on on the air um, in, in real time. So yeah, this is very quickly the HT Commander. It's available on GitHub. It's free currently on Windows, only Windows 10 and Windows 11. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.